This is a demonstration of Bloodline. And Bloodline is a plugin for ModX Revolution that helps you diagnose page components in a rendered page and also helps you diagnose speed issues. When you're first looking at your site and you want to use Bloodline, the very first thing you need to do is log into the manager. And this is for security. So I've already logged into the manager here, but once you've done that, all you need to do to get started is append Bloodline equals one to your URL. And what that triggers is a plugin, and it'll evaluate every part of the page. And uh, the styling may get a little bit confused like this. I'm working on improving that, but uh, it's just kind of hard to write stuff to the page and not have the original styles interfere. But this gives you a list of the context that's used, the page, the template. All those are items you can click here, and then it gives you a list of all the tags, all the placeholders, all the snippets, all the chunks, all the links that it detected in this page. And depending on the tags and what they are, you can drill down into them, or you can view the values, or if possible, you can click edit and go right to that spot in the manager. For example, clicking on edit a snippet here would take you to the edit page for that snippet. Say you wanted to see what this is generating. I can click on value, and this is the output of that snippet. It gives you a parse time, but really the most effective way of timing this is looking in the developer tools. On Chrome, you can eyeball the network tab, and if I refresh this page, the very first line is what you want to look at. So here you can see that that particular snippet generates its output in approximately 860 milliseconds. Granted, there's a lot of overhead with the plugin, but that gives you at least some idea of how quickly these things are executing. If you have a lot of trouble with the markup, you can force the output to be JavaScript, and then you'd want to look at the console here, and you'll see that Bloodline does log to the JavaScript console if you've selected that as your output. And it does, in this case, we've done away with the HTML. So you can see that there's any errors that are there listed. You can see that the render time is there, the parse time, and then a list of all the tags. So this isn't quite as nice to look at, but if you're having trouble, this is more reliable. The last thing that may be useful is if you're uh, working on a site and you don't know what is generating what. So say you know you needed to edit this image, you don't know where that image is coming from, you can use this markup to highlight things. And this can get messy because you may have tags within tags. When I refresh this, you'll see that it draws into the page some markup. And so I can see, ah, this is, this in here is from the TPL header chunk. And I, I click that, I can go to the manager. In here I can see, ah, this is coming from a setting, this is coming from whatever it is. And you can use that to drill down. So if I need to edit the footer, for example, highlighting it, I can click on the footer jump right into the manager to where I needed to go and edit that HTML. So that's the goal of Bloodline is to trace all the elements of your page to help you troubleshoot and edit them. Hope that helps.